Does anyone have a question? I think I mentioned this uh, at another time, Stuart. However, what's come to me uh, is questioning about drawing in the energy or reaching out into the atmosphere energetically to draw in the energy. And if you could just talk a bit about that. You know, it's really simple when the, everything is energy. Every time you interact with another human being, there's a give and take of energy. Every time you eat, you're taking in energy. You know, every time you take a walk in the sun, you're taking in energy. Every time you sit in a meditation class, you're taking in energy. At the same time, we're also giving off energy. And in the daily activity of most human beings, they usually give off more energy than they take in. And the purpose of the meditation is to be able to really fill up our tanks. It's to really have this deep resource of energy so that when we interact with life every day, you know, we're not drained. We really have this incredible depth and resource within ourselves that enables us to deal with our families, to, you know, work, to whatever we have to do during the day, we have that excess of energy that enables us to do it without allowing us to run dry. Now, if you sit in this meditation class and you don't open, then the energy, this incredible energy, this class will just flow right past you. But if you use the technique, you use the craft of the inner work, the double breathing exercise, you open the chakra system, it will fill you, it will fill your tanks. It'll give you so much extra resource within yourself that you'll be able to deal with whatever situations come your way. So everything is energy. Now, we usually receive what we give off. If the heart's open, if there's love inside us, if we have compassion for other people, you know, I mean, what, what they receive is what we give off. And usually what comes back is exactly what we give off. It touches people in a place deep. I mean, I had that experience the other day where I, you know, I had to spend the half the day waiting for somebody from Optimum to come to put in cable television. You know, and the whole, I won't go into the whole thing, but it just, they never showed up. So I called Optimum and I was a little bit upset. It just cost me my whole afternoon waiting for these technicians to come. So I saw talking to this young woman there who is the kind of mediator between the client and optimum. And I was too strong with her. It wasn't her fault, you know? And I finally started to laugh. I said, look, I apologize. This is not your fault. I shouldn't be angry with you. I said, I'm sure you get this all day. She started to laugh. She said, I get this all day. And I said, I just want to apologize. And you know, we became friends over the phone. She started laughing. I started laughing. You know, the message got through to Optimum's technical staff. They're coming tomorrow to do it. So what I'm saying is it depends on how we give off things, what comes back to us. When I was really upset with Optimum and I was <laughs> using this upsetness to, with, for this young woman I was talking to, you know, she was getting very tense. And as soon as the whole energy changed, she relaxed, we became friends, we laughed, we, you know, I mean, I, she almost didn't want to hang up the phone, you know, we were having a good time. 
So what I'm saying is, you know, everything is energy and you get in life exactly what you give off. Exactly. It comes back to you. Exactly what your chemistry is giving off to other people. And that's part of building an inner life. It's part of getting strong enough. So, you know, we don't have to beat people up. We can do things in a way which is kind and easy. And, and that's what comes back to us. And that's the energy we need to grow also just from everyday life. It's that love, God is love, you know, and people are starving for it. So I think, you know, what you asked is very important, Wendy. And I think it's all about what I'm talking, it's about what I'm talking about. You get back what you give off. And you have to understand that no matter what situation you interact with, you're dealing with energy. If it rains, it's energy. You know, and when it rains, we complain and all the plants of the world are, Dancing, you know, you understand? So it just depends on one's chemistry, what one is receiving, how it benefits their life, how we interact with people, whether it's with love and simplicity or we get angry and, you know, blame the world for some stupid thing that happened with an internet company, you know? Does anyone else have a question that you'd like to ask? Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Stuart. This is Melissa. Yes, Melissa. Um, I'm wondering if you can talk about the, um, not totally sure how to put it, but like the development of mm, like an awareness of like absolute truth, meaning that like an absolute truth would be like everything's energy, but we might notice that in a, a moment while we're sitting, but then that doesn't mean we just go around in life flippantly because everything's no, but, energy. Well, the, look, the purpose of sitting is to build a system inside that you can ultimately do that. You can recognize that everything that you interact with is just energy. All of life is a manifestation of God's energy. And it depends on how we interact. And you can't expect, you know, to live this way in some perfect state of being, understand? But we get closer, we get closer as we grow inside, as we develop, you know, a chakra system inside, as we get more balanced inside and more the heart is more open, we begin to live that way. And we can recognize our, it doesn't take a month to recognize the mistake. It's like with that young woman at the, you know, the Optimum company, it took me two seconds to say, no, Sue, what are you doing? It's not this woman's fault. <laughs> you understand? It's not her fault. And it took two seconds for me to recognize. And then the whole tenor of what I was doing with her changed from two people that were, could have been at each other's throats to two people that actually became friends over the phone. So you can't expect to live in some perfect state of reality, but you can build a system that gets closer and closer and closer, more conscious, more aware of your actions, how you're interacting with life, and that's one of the most remarkable things about this meditation. It helps to do this. And then you stop judging people. You stop, you know, you stop all of this stuff that creates so much madness in the world. And you can recognize, yeah, making mistakes is part of the perfection. Recognizing the mistake and having 
the strength inside to do something about it is part of the perfection. So this whole thing of absolute reality, yes, it exists, and it's called God. <laughs> um, who of us is going to attain that state of perfection while living in a body? But we're here to learn how to transform our suffering, our difficulties, you know, all the pain, the you know, strange situations we go through in life into a state of openness. That's what we're here to learn, how to take suffering and use that suffering as a way of transforming ourselves, getting closer to God. Suffering is also energy. And it's also part of the absolute perfection because it's one of the best reminders we have. We haven't arrived yet. We really got to work on ourselves. You know, I hope that's clear because what you asked is very important. You know, none of us are perfect. I mean, angels, God, and madmen, you know, <laughs> are perfect. The rest of us are constantly growing and developing inside ourselves to get closer to that perfection. And we accept our limitations. We accept the things that are wrong with us. And we continue to grow. There's more perfection in that than walking out and telling everybody you're the perfectly enlightened master, you know? And frankly, I never knew this until I was with Rudy. He taught me this. Once we can accept our own imperfections, we have patience with other people's imperfections. We have patience with the optimum cable company you know, and their imperfections. You know, I mean, it changes the whole way you approach the world. Does anyone else have a question you would like to ask? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, if there are no more questions, then we'll have class tomorrow evening. And thank you. God bless you all. And thank you. I'm telling you, uh, well, anyway, after every class I say it, you're probably getting tired of it. You know, listening to me say those things. But it's amazing. It's really a miracle to be here with all of you, to sit for these classes, to learn so much that is learned in such a short period of time. And God bless you all for being here, for finding time in your day to be part of this. Your presence here, I must humbly admit, is helping me to grow and develop my spiritual life. And I think it's amazing. And I hope it's doing the exact same thing for you, your presence here. So bless you all. Thank you. And we'll have meditation tomorrow evening. Looking forward to seeing everybody then. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart. God bless you. Bless you, Stuart. Thank you. 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 Thank